Okay, so we're going to do our next phase of two-point perspective. We just finished our three boxes, and I'm just going to use the back side of the paper. I've already drawn my horizon line, my vanishing points. What we're going to focus on is a beam. Beams are very similar to our boxes. I'm just going to do a beam above their horizon. So what we're going to do is give ourselves plenty of space to one side to make the beam. If you do it dead center, you're kind of making a short beam. So I'm going to throw my vertical line over here to the left of the center of the page. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I did before. Let's draw my center, my vanishing point. Just like I would with the box, I'm going to go from my top of my vertical line to the vanishing point. I'm going to go to this vanishing point on the other side. And then what you need to decide is how long you want your beam. So this is going to be the short side of my beam. And not to confuse, we'll erase these lines. And then because we're above the horizon, here's my little human. I'm just going to see the bottom of that beam. We're going to draw the bottom side, lightly of course. And then I need to see decide how long this beam is going to be. And I feel like this beam is a big old beam. So that's going to be the end of my beam. And I can erase this line. And now all we have to do is cut the beam off. So it's just like the box. I would take the farthest point and go to the opposite finishing point. And we're going to end it. Now sometimes people get a little bit confused. And this is what I want you to think of. When you're playing with blocks at home, all your edges are paralyzed, paralleled. They could be paralyzed. And I'll show you what I mean as soon as I darken these lines up. So if this is a block, I've got the front and the back. That line is parallel here. This line is parallel there. Okay. I've got a top of the block and the bottom are parallel. And the front of the block and the back of the block are parallel. The bottom of the block to the back of the block is parallel. If all of a sudden you have a line that's wonky, something's wrong. You need to make sure they're all parallel. And it's very easy to think about it if you if you break it down that way. If one side is going in a different direction, something's wrong. Now you should always be either using your vanishing points or the ruler when you're going vertical. You should never just freehand an angle. When you freehand an angle, then you get all skewampus. That's how you do a beam. If you do a beam below the horizon, it's the same idea as your block that we did in the very first step. We're just going to see the top of it as opposed to the bottom of it. We'll cruise really fast on this one. Okay, boom, there's your beam. Let's erase these lines to help you. You can decide where your light source is. Boom, 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 boom. And shade things in. This underside would be dark. Voila.